High Five is brought to you by Optimus Clubs of the Pacific Northwest. Responding to the needs of our local community's youth. Working directly with schools to enhance education. Optimus Clubs, bringing out the best in kids. Funding for the High Five Challenge also comes from Oberto Sausage Company, family owned and operated for over 88 years. Oberto Sausage Company continues to deliver authentic meat snacks. Oberto is proud to support programs that recognize and reward today's academic achievers and tomorrow's leaders. And by Oregon Partnership. Engaging the imagination of our teens and enlisting their support in the fight against substance abuse. Additional funding for the High Five Challenge also comes from these generous contributors. Easy Street Online Services, Richard Herrera About Hair, The International Tree Club, and Chipotle Mexican Grill. Thank you. Get ready to test your wits. It's time for the High Five Challenge, a weekly TV game show featuring some of the best and brightest high school teams from throughout the Pacific Northwest. And now, here's your host for High Five, Wayne Balagowski. There we go. We got it that time. Thanks, Bill Diaz. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us here today on another edition of the High Five Challenge. I'm your host, Wayne Falagowski. We're having a great season. We've had some really tight matches this year. Let's see if we have another one today. First, off to my right, from Aloha High School in Aloha, Oregon, let's hear it for the Warriors. It's been a few years since they've been on. Welcome back, Aloha. And off to my left, from Grand High School in Portland, Oregon, let's hear it for the Generals. The Generals, there they are. A couple years ago, they were into the finals for the championship. Let's find our first five categories. All right, we'll have story problems, trivia, vocabulary, world religions, and on the water. Let's find the first. All right, world religions. For 10 points. This is the oldest of the monotheistic religions, those that believe in only one God. Grant. Okay, let's see, Drew. Judaism. That's correct. Very good. Judaism. For 10 points. Adherents of this faith fast during daylight hours in the month of Ramadan. Grant. Okay. Amen. Muslim. That is correct. For 20 points. More than 80% of India's population practices this religion. Grant. Okay. Amen. Hinduism. That is correct. Hinduism. For 20 points, Siddharthi Gautama, called this, lived in the 7th or 6th century B.C. in India. Aloha. Okay, Arden. Buddha. The Buddha, yes, Buddha. And for 40 points, in 1054, the world's Christians separated into these two churches. Ah, uh, steal, aloha. Okay, shall be stealing. Come over and talk it over with your teammates a little bit. All right. Catholicism and... Catholicism and Orthodoxism? That is correct. Very good. Eastern Orthodox. Very good. All right, let's find another category. Okay, it's story problems, and I'll read these a little slower because you have to think about them. For 10 points, in the English classes he teaches, Bill has 24, 18, 20, 22, and 26 students. This is the average number of students per class. Hello. Okay, Arden. 22. You got it. Very good. Wow. Hey. A built-in calculator in his head. <laughs> For 20 points. A year after Hurricane Katrina, about 210 miles of New Orleans, 350 miles of levees had been repaired. That's about 35, 60, or 75 percent. Grant. Uh, uh, Steel. Steel by Shelby. Or... 60. That is correct. 60 percent. All right, for 40 points, Annika had a round of 67 on the par 72 mossy bottom course. With one bogey and no eagles, how many birdies did she have? Grant. Okay, Eamon. Four. That is incorrect, Grant. Okay, Aloha. Three seconds. Okay, Kristen. Five. That is also incorrect. You're getting closer. Six. Four, ten points. Fran is three years older than Herb, who is half as old as Anne, who is 86. How old is Fran? 
Grant. Okay, Eamon. 46. You got it. Very good. Wow. And for 20 points, the tab was $200 when Wayne took his family out for a fancy dinner. If he wanted to leave a 15% tip, what would the total cost be? Okay, Eamon. $230. You got it. Very good. And that ain't ever going to happen. Not a $200 meal for me. Okay. Before we find the next three categories, Bill Diaz, come up here and let's meet the Grant Generals from Portland. All right. I'm impressed with those story problems. I am, yeah, they are. Gee, those are tough. <laughs> Eamon, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time when you're not in school? I like to play a lot of Ultimate Frisbee with a bunch of my friends out in the park. All right, that's good healthy exercise. And Phoebe, you had a special treat that happened, what, tonight? Um, yeah, a, an Italian guy serenaded us with a violin at well, dinner. How do you know he was Italian? He told us. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> okay, you were arguing earlier about whether he was Italian or not. And Ben... Uh, Oh, dear. What's your favorite color? That would be blue. <laughs> Why is blue your favorite color? I don't know. It starts with a B. Oh, okay. And so does Ben. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, Drew, now you have a real story. Now, you studied what? Polar bears in Wh Manitoba. When? Uh, this past fall, about what? a year ago. Oh, really? Did you learn anything about polar bears? Yeah. Uh, we uh, were working on the effects of global warming on polar bears and seeing how they're starting to drown. And when a marine mammal starts to drown, something's wrong. So you really believe in global warming? Yes. Well, good. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> and Thomas, this is a special day for you today. What is that? It, it won't be on the day it airs, but what's happening today? It's my birthday. Can I ask you how old you are? 17. All right. <laughs> well, go, Thomas. And Josh, uh, what kind of licorice do you like? I'm, I'm a big fan of red licorice. Why? <laughs> I just, I just love it. It cures all illnesses. It does? Yeah. So if you have a cold or something, you just take that? Exactly. Well, that'll save your parents a whole lot of money. <laughs> and Anna, you spent the summer where? In Egypt. Doing what? I was studying Arabic in Cairo. Gee whiz, we got Manitoba and Egypt. You guys are really getting around. All right, Grant, back to you, Wayne. Thank you, Bill. Okay, a traveling team there. All right, let's find another category. On the water. When I was in high school, I traveled about 50 miles away from home, and that was a big trip for me. <laughs> Ten points. This river runs through Liverpool. Grant. Okay, Eamon. What is the Thames? That is incorrect, Grant. Okay, Aloha, three seconds. <laughs> that is the Mercy. The Mercy. On the water for 20 points. This national capital is heated by underground hot water springs. Grant. Okay, Eamon. What is Reykjavik? Very good. In Iceland. Very good. I'm glad you had to say it. I didn't have to say it. I'll give you double points for that. For 40 points. This is the only one of the Great Lakes without an international border running through it. Grant. A oh, steal. Oh, steal Aloha. I shall be her third steal. Michigan? Lake Michigan is correct. Very good for 40 points. That was their final steal. Each team gets three per half. 20 points. This zone lies between the tropics of Capricorn and Cancer. Grant. Okay, Drew. What is the tropical zone? Very good. Tropical zone. And for 10 points, this is the largest U.S. city on the Great Lakes. Ah, Aloha. Okay, Chicago. Arden. Chicago is correct. Very good. Another category, please. Okay, it's vocabulary. For 10 points. An expert in ophiology knows a lot about these. That is snakes, which most people don't like. <laughs> for 10 points. In law, this is the term for a written statement damaging to the person about whom it is made. Grant. Okay, Eamon. Libel. That's correct, libel. Very good. For 20 points. A gourmet knows and appreciates fine food and wine. A person who loves to eat and drink indiscriminately is called this. Aloha. Okay, Arden. Oh, steel, oh, well, we do have a steal right before. Okay, Thomas. Okay. Glutton. Glutton or gourmand is correct. Yes, very good. For 40 points. In architecture, a beam that is supported at one end and unsupported at the other is called this. That is a cantilever. And for 20 points, 
This is what you call a person who compiles statistics on human populations. Grant. Okay, Drew. Statistician. That is incorrect, Grant. Okay, Aloha, three seconds. That is a demographer. Let's go to one more category, please. Okay, it's trivia. We'll lighten it up a little bit now. Get some smiles on these faces. For 10 points. If you break a mirror, you supposedly will suffer this many years of bad luck. Grant. Okay, Eamon. Seven. That's correct, seven years. <laughs> For 20 points. If you come across Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, you're reading this story. Grant. Eamon. What is Peter Cottontail? The Adventures of Peter Cottontail? That is incorrect, okay. Aloha, three seconds. It is actually the Tales of Peter Rabbit. For 40 points, this country first claimed the Mississippi River in 1682. Aloha. Okay, Arden. France. That's correct, France for 40 points. For 10 points, this is the only one of the seven dwarfs without a beard. Aloha. Okay, Kristen. Dopey. Dopey is correct, very good. And for 20 points, Mount Rushmore is located in this U.S. state. Grant. Okay, Eamon. South Dakota. That is correct, South Dakota. A lot of people think it's north. It's break time. When we come back, we'll have five more categories. Stick around, you'll learn a lot. Save. Students achieving video excellence. High schools throughout Oregon and Washington are invited to submit script ideas for the Save campaign. Tackling tough issues such as drug abuse, bullying, suicide, and other topics affecting today's teens. A professional photographer and field producer will then be assigned to assist students to produce video messages for television. This from students at Newburg High. Do you want to lose weight fast and have all your hair and teeth fall out? If so, methamphetamine could be right for you. Shooting meth has really improved my self-esteem. My teeth draw tons of attention. I get so much done in such little time. And I've met all kinds of interesting people. You'll be amazed at what meth can do for you. Meth is not for everyone. Symptoms may include paranoia, hallucinations, loss of sex appeal, skin irritations, loss of brain cells. Save students achieving video excellence. Coming soon to your school. In high schools today, kids are all about their labels. Not the labels on their jeans or their shoes. It's the labels that kids are sticking on each other. A crappy day. <laughs> some are meant to be jokes. And some are meant to be hurtful. <laughs> but they all start with judging a person from their appearance. Or their interests. Or made up rumors. Labels aren't good for anyone. And no one is immune. Labels block your view of a person. They create barriers and lies that keep kids from making new friends. Oh, Gary, let me help you. It only takes one small act of kindness to look beyond the label and see the real person. So don't be afraid to talk to someone because of a label. Labels lie. Stick to the truth. See the person beyond the label. You might be surprised. Welcome back to the High Five Challenge. We have some good scores. Grant has 2,080, and Aloha's in the lead for 2,150. Before we find the next five categories, Bill Diaz is standing by to talk to the Aloha Warriors. Bill, take it away. Well, first, Warriors, would everybody turn around? Look at that. The, the complete uniform with names on the back and everything. Isn't that great? You can turn back around. I love, I love that. That's a lot of good spirit. There's a lot of athletes on this team, too. What kind of sport do you like to play? I play lacrosse. And give me your full name. Uh, Kristen Rose. Okay, great. And what year are you? I'm a junior. All right. And what sport do you like? Skiing. Skiing. Are there a lot of skiers at school? No. <laughs> no? We need some more people to come out and join the ski team, though. All right. And what are your races that you're racing this year? We do slalom and GS. Oh, good. Those are good races. Yeah. Very technical. And Arden, right? Yeah. You like uh, playing the piano, but you also have a fish named... Dr. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you name the fish Dr. Phil? Well, we spend so many evenings talking together that I thought it was just an appropriate name. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Bevan, you are known for uh, playing trivia? Oh, uh, yeah, I dominate at trivia, you know, especially the ones with the 
words high and five in their name. <laughs> pretty good at those ones. Pretty good. I like that. And Brad, I understand that you uh, like a certain uh, type of food. Oh, yeah, I love chicken. <laughs> you love chicken. What kind of chicken? You know, any kind of chicken, teriyaki chicken, orange chicken, honey chicken, baked chicken, fried chicken. <laughs> chicken, chicken, all right. Chicken. You're, all right. Well, I don't know if you uh, like chicken. Come on down toward the microphone, Shelby. But uh, are you a runner? Yeah, I run cross country and track. Excellent. And I think you, too, are an athlete. Michael, uh, what is your claim to fame? My claim to fame is I can 360 dunk. You really can. <laughs> it is true. It's and true. how long have you been doing it? And tell um, me the truth. The truth is, I've been doing it longer than Brad's e been eating fried chicken. <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's got to be around not two the years. Truth. Two years. Come on, you're putting I'm saying me two on. years. Since I was two 12. years? No. <laughs> did, did you surprise yourself the first time you did it? <laughs> um, yeah, I did. It was yeah. a lot of fun. We have How to see that sometime. Really How tall are you? I'm 6'8. Wow. Uh, so, there's yeah. a secret. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, Wayne, back to you. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. All right. <laughs> Six foot eight. Boy, we've had some tall kids on this year. Let's find the next five categories. All right, we'll have potpourri, women on stamps, our mystery category, fictional animals, and not a part of. Let's find the first. All right, it's fictional animals. Must mean not real ones, huh? For 10 points. Harry Potter's Hedwig is one of these. Grant. Okay, Eamon. Owl. Owl is correct. Yes. Hoot, hoot. Okay. For 20 points. <laughs> In the Call of the Wild, Jack London wrote about Buck, this kind of animal. Grant. Okay, Eamon. Dog. A dog is Buck. Very good. For 10 points. Among the animals associated with this title heroine are a white rabbit, a Cheshire cat, and a walrus. Grant. Okay, Eamon. Alice in Wonderland. Very good. Alice is correct. Yeah. Fictional animals for 20 points. Pooh and Piglet dug a pit to try to trap this animal. Grant. Okay, Eamon. What is a heffalump? Heffalump is correct for 20 points. All right. All right. And fictional animals for 40 points. T.S. Eliot wrote a series of poems about these animals, which later became the basis for a popular musical. Grant and oh, a steal, a steal now by Brad for the Aloha Warriors. Okay, time is up. Cats. Cats is correct for 40 <laughs> points. Very good. You got four out of five, they got one. Okay, let's go to another category. All right, not a part of, but they got the 40 pointer, so that helped. Not a part of for 20 points. The Balkans, Slovenia, Croatia, Hungary, Bulgaria. Grant. Uh, steal. Oh, another Lord. steal by Brad, his second steal in a row. Okay. Hungry. Hungry is correct, yes. Okay, not a part of, for 10 points, of Central America, Venezuela, Belize, Guatemala, Honduras. Grant. Okay, Drew. Venezuela. That's correct, Venezuela. <laughs> not a part of, for 40 points, the United Kingdom. England, Scotland, Ireland, Wales. A, a steal. A steal Grant. now by Anna for the Grant Generals. Ireland. Ireland is correct. Very good. Ireland. Ireland. <laughs> not a part of for 10 points of Scandinavia, Denmark, the Netherlands, Norway, Sweden. Aloha. Okay. Our the Netherlands. The Netherlands is correct. Very good. And not a part of for 20 points, Latin America. Mexico, Brazil, Costa Rica, Bahrain. A, low, a steal from okay, Grant. Okay, a steal by Anna. Bahrain. Bahrain is correct. Very good for 20 points. All right, let's take another category. All right, it's potpourri. I think they got all five of those. Very good. For 10 points. Blue-eyed crooner Frank Sinatra was referring to this city when he called it my kind of town. Grant. Okay, Eamon. Las Vegas. That is incorrect, Grant. Okay, Aloha, three seconds. Okay, Kristen. New York City. That is also incorrect. New York City is incorrect. It is Chicago. Chicago, my kind of town. For 10 points. Talk about ego. This Dutch master painted 64 self-portraits. Grant. Okay, Eamon. Rembrandt. That's correct, Rembrandt. 
For 20 points, there are this many zeros in a trillion. Grant. Okay, Eamon. What is 10? That is incorrect, Grant. Okay, Aloha, three seconds. Okay, Arden. Nine. That's also incorrect. You're going backwards. It's 12. There are actually 12. For 20 points, this man yielded a sword named Excalibur. Grant. Okay, Eamon. Uh, King Arthur. That's correct. King Arthur. And for 40 points, this no longer a planet travels around the sun every 248 years. Uh, steel, okay, Aloha. Okay, Brad for Aloha, his final steal. Pluto. Pluto is correct for 40 <laughs> points. Very good. Okay, we've had a lot of Pluto questions on this year. Let's go to another category. All right, women on stamps. Poor Pluto got demoted. <laughs> for 40 points. Sprinter, who won three Olympic gold medals in 1960. Grant. Okay, Eamon. Uh, Joyner? That is incorrect, Grant. Okay, Aloha, three seconds. Joyner was several years after that. This was Wilma Rudolph. It's a lame from long ago. For 10 points. Leader in temperance, anti-slavery, and women's suffrage movements. And here's a hint. She also had her picture on a dollar. Grant. Okay, Eamon. Susan B. Anthony. You got it, Susan, Susan B. Anthony. For 20 points, novelist and moral theorist, author of The Fountainhead and Atlas Shrugged. Grant. Okay, Eamon. Ann Rand. You got it, Ann Rand. For 10 points, underground railroad conductor, nurse, spy for the Union Army in the Civil War. Grant. Okay, Eamon. Harriet Tubman. Very good. For 10 points. Okay, and for 20 points, marine biologist, environmentalist, author of Silent Spring. Grant. Okay, Eamon. Rachel Carson. Very good, for 20 points. Hey, I'm really impressed. All right, we have that a good old mystery category, but first let's go over and meet the coaches. So, Steve Wilson, welcome aboard. Thank you. Now, this is, uh, uh, Aloha hasn't been on uh, Hi-Fi for a number of years. Where have you guys been? <laughs> out, uh, out on 185th, I guess. You're still at the same school, at least. Right. Now, what do you teach at Aloha? I teach AP European History. Now, what AP, a lot of people may not know these initials. What does that mean? Uh, advanced Placement. And what does that do? Um, well, it can get you college credit, uh, help, uh, looks pretty good on your resume. Um, it also helps prepare you for college. Now, where did you go to college? Went to Oregon State, home of the Beavers. That's right where I went, too. Excellent. And, uh, how are they doing in football this year so far? Home of the Beavers. Yeah, <laughs> you never know. Yeah, you never know. I think it's also great that your team made up these shirts. Spin around again and just show everybody before we go back to the other. That is great. Great teamwork. Okay, Thank great you. spirit. Thank you. Bill, your side. Thanks a lot, Wayne. I'm here with Walt Hollins. Welcome yes. to the program. Thank you. Are you having a good time? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Have, have you been the Grant coach very long? Just uh, my second year. Second year. And what do you teach at Grant? Uh, physics. Physics. How do you pick the kids to be on the team? Um, they picked, they ran their own tryout, and they ran the whole show, and I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're doing a good job. Are you enjoying yourself as coach? Oh, it's great. I don't have to do anything, and uh, <laughs> I get to watch. It's Will you good. be back next year? Absolutely. Sounds like a pretty good job you've got yeah. there. <laughs> Wade, back to you. Thank you, Bill. All right, now you may not have noticed, but we do have a tie right now, too. Both teams have 2,230 points, so it's going to be a great one. Let's go to that mystery category. All right, it's politicians. Let's see if we can break this tie. For 40 points, this controversial Arizona U.S. Senator used AUH2O as his presidential slogan. Aloha. Okay, Arden. John McCain. That is incorrect, Aloha. Okay, Grant, three seconds. <laughs> AU is the gold and the H2O is water. Barry Goldwater. For 20 points, this member of a political party enforces discipline. Grant. Okay, Drew. Whip. The whip is correct. Yes, for 20 points. <laughs> whip. For 40 points, Democratic presidential nominee Adlai Stevenson lost not once but twice to this man. Grant. Okay, Drew. Nixon. That is incorrect, Grant. Okay, Aloha, three seconds. That was Dwight Eisenhower. 
for 80 points. Here we go, the big one. Alexander Haig was chief of staff during the final days of this disgraced chief executive. Grant. Okay, Phoebe. Andrew Johnson. That is incorrect, Grant. Okay, Aloha, three seconds. That was Richard Nixon. And for 20 points, this U.S. president established the National Foundation for Infantile Paralysis. All right, Grant. Okay, Drew. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. You got it. FDR for 20 points. Okay, let's check the scores. Grant, 2150. Aloha, 2190. Today's winner, the team from Aloha by 40 points. Thanks for joining us here today on the High Five Challenge. We broke that tie. Congratulations to Warriors. We'll see you next week on the High Five Challenge. So long, everybody. God bless our kids. The Baby Boomer's Guide to Retirement. Yes, it is possible. Jonathan Pond shares his upbeat view of the prospects and answers the important questions. Today at 4 here on OPB. Five has been provided by Optimus Clubs of the Pacific Northwest. A positive approach, a beat outlook by providing hope and positive vision. Optimus brings out the best in kids. Funding for the High Five Challenge also comes from Oberto Sausage Company, family owned and operated for over 88 years. Oberto Sausage Company continues to deliver authentic meat snacks. Oberto is proud to support programs that recognize and reward today's academic achievers and tomorrow's leaders. By Victor's European Meat Market, more than 40 varieties of fresh and smoked meats, including Polish sausage, black forest ham, and naturally smoked jerky. Old World Recipes, located in the Tigard Shopping Center. Additional funding also comes from Portland Spirit, Hollywood Video, Mount Hood Community College, and Clackamas Community College. Thank you.